Hi, I'm Ken Craig and I've been involved in sports um, rehabilitation for over 21 years. And uh, I've always known and have been interested in a handheld uh, ultrasound device. And in 2018, I started using some handheld devices, uh, which gave me some level of confidence and satisfaction. But I really was impressed when I used the L15 um, MSK scanner from Claris. Uh, I started using it in 2019. I was impressed with the um, image quality. Uh, they also have got a great platform support with preset, um, what you call joint and clinical conditions, which we often see in sports. Uh, and it has revolutionized um, the way I practice. Uh, it gives me a greater interaction between my athletes, coaches. Uh, it gives me the ability to actually um, assess um, the, the, the effectiveness of my uh, rehabilitation in my clients. Uh, it also helps the athletes appreciate what is happening in their training routines, um, having a greater level of contact and, and discourse with their coaches. So now we're going to have another athlete uh, who actually is an Australian based in uh, the Netherlands, a uh, former world champion speed skater, uh, as well as an Olympian and the current uh, world champion inline skater. And again, we are going to do a baseline scan uh, and uh, a post competitive skating scan, which will give us a really good idea of how the knee uh, handles the stress and pressure of speed skating. Okay, so again, I am going to concentrate on the anterior knee compartment and region starting again from the quadriceps and i'm going to start from the medial to distal muscle belly coming down and we can start to see the contribution of the superficial layer of the rectus femoris the deep layer of the um west eye intermedia as then the medial layers of the medial vasti and vasti lateralis. What we see in between there are the regions that allow the glide of the tendon. We come towards the pole, the superior pole of the patella, and we now appreciate again a healthy knee joint. There may be some signs of previous injuries. Uh, but at the moment, it's a baseline scan. There's no sign of uh, alarm. And I am now going to go onto the superficial structure of the patella itself. Again, I'm going to use a technique which we call floating, where there is no contact, but the probe sits within the gel. And we start to see the various structures we can see some sign of old injuries. Okay. And we now come forward. And now we see a very nice uh, pattern of the patella. Uh, given his uh, also uh, long career in skating. Uh, this is a healthy tendon with a good pattern, good fat pad position. No signs of um, overtly pathologies of the bursa. We excurs further down distally towards the tibia. And we now appreciate the region of the insertion. Again, some signs of all injury. But again, as I mentioned, uh, just because they are variations from what is classified or considered as normative values. Uh, we have to consider that this could be adaptive changes and not an active functional inhibiting or limiting pathology. And it will be interesting to see the changes of this knee uh, after several rounds of speed skating in the TF Stadium at Niramvin. Again, this is why I find uh, a tool, an instrument, a clinical instrument, such as a focus real-time 
uh, instrument like the L15 is valuable in providing precision or providing optimal sports clinical care.